Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm going to share with you five things I think you should know about this powerful and pivotal upcoming full moon we have on August 26th, 2018. It's an amazing time. We've been building for this culmination all summer with all the different shifts we've made, releases we've had, leaps of faith we have taken, changes we've endured is culminating to sort of a sort of a couple things going on at once, I'll say in short, before I proceed into the five things. There's two things basically, two themes this time. One of them is a blast of awareness of the power you have always possessed and have been sitting on. It's like a it's like this story I just heard from watching a Tony Robbins documentary. He talked about this little lion cub and he was with his parents, right? The, the mama cub and the, the father cub. Well, there was some kind of situation where the father cub had to sacrifice his life to save the mother and, and the child cub. And then there was some other situation where it got real stormy or something and the mother had to sacrifice herself to save her little baby cub and both parents were dead. This little cub was just sort of wandering around like aimlessly, this little baby, you know, puppy or, you know, kitten sort of mentality. And this, this like a herd of sheep came up. And because this little lion was so docile and, and sweet, the sheep sort of took a liking to this little, little guy and was like, bah, you know, kind of hanging out with the little guy. And finally, it, this, this lion grew up rolling around with his sheep. He started to kind of act like a sheep. And finally, years later, when this sheepish lion stumbled upon some real lions, the other lions looked at him like, what the heck? What? Like, they gave him this look like, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you doing this? Why are you acting this way? That's not who you are. And finally, one of the, the king lion came up, <clears throat> took that little lion by the neck. And he like, with his like mouth, you know how they do that. And he made him look at himself in the pond or in the, in the, where he could see his reflection in the water. And he said, look at you. You're a lion. And the lion was like, no, I'm not going to. I can't. It was like too much for him. It had a little while to set it. The power was realized but not absorbed. Eventually, this lion fed him some food. And once this lion started eating, it was like, Mruh! it came to life. It woke up and realized it was a powerful lion. This entire time, you are a powerful Way more powerful than a lion. I'm a powerful spirit, eternal being capable of anything you set your mind to. And this full moon is going to wake you up to that. Parallel to that, you're going to find as you do that, as you start acting from the power you've always had, there's this wave of positive energy. We've been sitting on all these planets and retrograde and everything and now they're all going direct with the perfect timing of your realization to scoop you up and take you forward faster and more explosively and more in a more exciting and epic way than I think any of us have ever experienced. It's a phenomenal time to be alive where hard work is going to pay off massively. That was a longer introduction than I typically do, but I just kind of got carried away with that story. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go now and break this down into five more specific things that will bring clarity and breathe life into my message. Before I do, let me just say, if you're, I know a lot of people, they find my videos for the first time with these updates. So let me just say welcome to you. I'm always sharing about the awakening and doing these energy updates. If you enjoy them, feel free to subscribe below. Every once or twice a week I do a video. And also I prepared a free guided meditation that I made myself. It's totally free. You can check that out below in the description box. And with all that said, I will now get into point number one. Number one, sort of setting the stage for the maximum benefits of this sort of this culmination, as I was speaking about, you might find yourself, practically speaking, in your life, building your foundation on all levels, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, literally in your life. Like for me, I'm getting my taxes in order. I have this tax firm I'm working with and a, a new personal trainer that's helping me with my shoulder and my body and I'm getting my, my body in prime shape. And uh, all that, that's my Thing. But you guys might have your own little things happening in your life or, or you know, 
situations presenting themselves that you feel like it's time to deal with that because you don't want the the mental weight of these unresolved, unstable aspects of your foundation because probably you're sensing that there is going to be a time in the near future when you're not going to really have the time to deal with that because you'll be so preoccupied with living your life, pursuing your purpose and dreams in a, in a, a very powerful way. So right now is the time to kind of finish up loose ends and get your foundation nice and stable so you can have four solid legs to stand on going forward into the future, which is going to be very demanding of you, but in a very fun and exciting way. So awesome that you're not going to want to have to look back and deal with this in the future. Now is a great time to finish up loose ends in whatever way that means. Number two, because most of us don't enjoy doing that, we, we tend to put those kind of things off. You might find that there's support in your life. That It's, it's like the, the cosmic forces, you can say, the guy of the planet, it's wanting to upgrade, it's wanting to ascend out of this dualistic chaos that we find ourselves living in within this reality. So there is like a, a support of energy that will manifest and play out practically in your life that is going to assist you in becoming your best self, assist you in healing, assist you in finding and living and expressing and uplifting through your purpose there will be support. It might come from people saying, come on, let's, let's get on this project. You said you're going to do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's get on the ball here. Or it might come from a situation sort of cropping up in a, you know, a provocative way that says, wow, if I don't deal with this soon, it's going to just get worse. So I'm going to deal with this now. So regardless, you might find yourself being assisted in becoming your best self. The idea of it's fine. The idea of a solid foundation sounds nice and we can all probably reason that that would be advantageous. But when it comes to doing those sort of things that we don't want to do, um, we tend to put it off. But if there's no time to put it off, the cosmic forces aren't going to really let you. And they're going to say, nope, it's time because we got plans for you, buddy. The way that's playing out for me is I've always, as I confessed in my other videos, I've always hated tax season. It's always been a drudge for me because I've been an entrepreneur for many years. And it's just always a headache. I'm not naturally organized with that kind of information. It's, it's just sort of something I never like doing. So finally, my, my friend Aaron convinced me to hire this tax um, company. And even though I like signed up with them, I've been sort of lazy. I haven't been doing all the things they've asked me to do. So they've been calling me, Victor, I need this, this, and this. Victor, you got to get this paper signed and faxed over to me. Victor, we have a meeting on Thursday. We're going to do this. So I was like, oh, okay. Same too with my health. I, I just sort of, my life unfolded in a, in a weird way where I found myself hiring a personal trainer, which is odd because I've been a trainer for the last 10 years. But this one dude, sort of impressed me with just how vast his knowledge is and he really is already helping my shoulder and helping me. And I, So anyways, things are falling into my life to assist me in becoming my best self. And that's going to happen for you in some way as well, where you really can't drag your feet anymore because you have an awesome life to live that's waiting for you and the time is running out. So get your ducks in a row, utilize the support probably coming into your life in a myriad of different forms and, and then get ready to blast off. Number three, I wrote down huge wave of positive, uplifting energy that is going to carry you forward in a very busy and yet exciting way, which is why it's so important to do these other things I've been talking about. Now, I know you've been busy, and you might be thinking, Victor, I've been, I've been busy, man. It's, it's been a very busy summer. Well, you're going to be busy but in a fun way, in a different way. You've been busy, again, setting the stage, getting ripe for this shift of energy that's going to really help crystallize why you came here, your life purpose. You'll have much more of a focused direction of where you want to go in your life. Something really attractive to you that resonates with you that you believe is possible is going to present itself and you're going to feel a pull or a push towards it big time. It's an amazing time. We, we're coming out of all of these retrogrades which tend to be doing exactly what I was talking about earlier in the video where it's really about you know tying up loose ends and, and solidifying your foundation, but then there's that we that doesn't just happen for no reason. It happens for a specific reason because usually coming off of that, there's this massive push 
forward. And as we become new people and are sitting on stronger legs, we are just more capable to withstand and benefit from the, the energy that will be soon at your back taking you towards, again, something that's really meaningful to you, whether it's just a new direction in life or you're really finding out your purpose, which sounds cliche, you might find out like what lights you up. And I'll give an example real quick before I move on. Your purpose, that's such a, a, a sort of a, in my opinion, in my observation, a misconstrued word. A purpose is an outlet that ignites your passion. This one guy I work with, he was he builds houses, right? And it sounds like the house building job, he's like a contractor or something, it just fell into his lap. And he's, he's it's a lot of stress involved. He's not that passionate about it, I could tell. And I wondered, just sitting on the phone with him, like, is this something this guy really wants to do? It didn't seem like that to me. But I talked to him yesterday and he said, Vic, dude, I was up for like two days straight, hardly sleeping, designing a house. The house thing was sort of there. But there's a facet of building houses that, that puts him in the zone, in the flow state is the way he put it, which is very accurately put. And he found himself all night, hardly able to sleep, lit up, excited, enthused, just like his genius was spilling out onto this canvas as he was designing this next house. And he said, Vic, that's it. I could feel it coming off. I'm like, that's it for this guy. That's his purpose. It's like designing houses in this one little aspect of this whole house situation. He found it. So a purpose doesn't have to mean I'm going to go and rally for a cause, maybe, but it could be anything, any sort of creative expression that lights you up. You might find yourself discovering that around this time. And what's going to be required for you to actually live your life based around that will be this solid foundation with this huge wave of energy is going to make a much greater likelihood for you to come into the awareness of that's what lights me up. Number four, what's going to allow you to tap into that energy in an obvious way is something you're probably already starting to do right now is again, take your power back. You're like that lion who realizes they're a lion. You realize you're a powerful being, that you just have the ability to change anything you want to in your life. Most of us have a lot of things we could change. I could stop doing this, discontinue this, avoid this behavior, let go of this. I would probably benefit from doing this, adding this, including this, etc. cetera. But, but we, in, in absence of the awareness of the power we're resting upon within us, we just take all this time, all this unnecessary time to make these changes that we can see clearly would benefit us. But I'm telling you this, you might stop taking so much time. You might just start making choices because you can. You've always been able to, but now you're aware of it. So you're like, I'm going to just stop doing this. Maybe it's quitting smoking. Maybe it's smoking cigarettes your entire, well, most of your life, 20, 30 years. And you're just like, huh. You suddenly like decide to change and it works. It sticks because you're aware that you can do those kind of things. Or maybe you've been always meaning to, uh, I don't know, go out there to the local yoga studio and, and meet people. You, you've seen some, some attractive people there that you think you'd resonate with, but you've been shy. You're like, you know what? I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna, gonna do it. And it will be like a nonchalant decision that just happens to stick because of all the work you've been doing thus far is uncovering this power. So it's a phenomenal time to make a list of things that you've been putting off changing and just change. As Tony Robbins always says, it doesn't take time to change. Many people can take years or decades to get ready to change, but change happens in an instant. You might start having a lot of those instances of positive, massive, change simply because you're aware of your ability to do that. And this is all kind of giving way to lastly, number five is just one word, momentum. There are many fat, cut two facets of momentum that are important to discuss right now. One of them will pertain to anyone right now who finds themselves feeling like they're slipping backwards or struggling, or maybe the notion of Victor saying, Hey, you're going to be able to change all these habits, but you're, but you're finding that your habits are getting out of control and you're just, you know, all these problems are happening in your life. It doesn't matter. That's okay. Those are helping you. And here's why it doesn't matter because of momentum, the momentum you've already set 
in your life allows you the luxury of taking time out to step back to temporarily play out a bad habit sufficiently motivating you to finally squash it and you have this huge ball of momentum that can sometimes seem invisible to us when we allow ourselves to get swept away in these um, periods of important change so I want you to remember your momentum that you're already you've already set and I'll give you a perfect analogy that I shared with my email list a few days ago earlier this week I explained to them that I was having a genuinely a bad day what I just described was playing out for me big time I had slipped back I was kind of losing my balance and things were just not going well in my day and it really I had like a bleak outlook it was just a really crummy day I don't know what happened it just was it was like that right but then I was going out to lunch and as I was going out to my, one of my favorite restaurants that I always go to, with my buddy Aaron to, the Protein House, um, I don't have my phone with me, but there's this app you get with these reward points. Every time you buy an entree, you get one reward point. Once you get to 10 reward points, you get a free lunch. Cool, right? So in the, it was having like a crappy day. In fact, me and Aaron weren't even talking. I was just like in my negative space trying to spare him of my toxic energy because I was just in a funk, man. And when I got up to pay, I realized I had 10 reward points. Is the point of me telling you this because Victor's showing off his free lunch? No. It's because that was a metaphor to me that, Victor, it doesn't matter you're having a bad day. You have momentum. You built up momentum that is cumulative. Even if you're not looking at your phone, you're not always aware of your award points. They're there. And when the time is right for it, you got them. So you have momentum. You can afford to. And that's why you're constantly up and down, slipping back and forth. Because every time you go up, every time you release, every time you make a positive intuitive change, you are building and adding to that momentum. Okay? So that's a message for those of you who are struggling. Now, the second part of this is that you're living in a time right now with this full moon where you're going to start adding a ridiculous amount of amazing positive gusto and energy to the momentum you've already set. This huge wave of energy is coming in, this reclaiming of your power is coming in and culminating with this massive forward explosion of positive momentum that you're all, you've already Developed. I'm telling you to get ready. Get ready to freaking blast off and rock and roll. I don't just say that to hype you up. That's what I feel. That's what's coming through. That's what's going down. And I guarantee you're going to feel this in your own life. Okay. That's it, my friend. I'm getting a little, a little bit... Uh, Okay, my friends, that's all for the message today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all doing phenomenal. And if you're not, that's okay, man. You got the momentum going for you. Remember that, okay? I wish you guys nothing but love and support. And may the wind be at your back for your journey as of right now. Because it's not an easy journey. It's not an easy path. It's a lonely path. But you, your soul came to walk this path at this particular time. And though it's difficult, oftentimes it's rewarding and fulfilling and satisfying. And, and, and this momentum is really gonna start revealing itself to you in all areas of your life. Every moment of your life, every moment of your journey has been like a, a coin in your, an investment in yourself, in your bank account, where you're about to cash out big time. So get ready and just know you're doing a phenomenal job and, it, and I commend you for your courage on this path. Have an amazing day, my friends. I will speak to you very soon. Namaste.